Hi, this is Melissa with StitchScene.com and I'm going to demonstrate how to work on even berry stitch pattern. We're going to start with a foundation chain that is in a multiple of two plus, um, well, multiple of two, I guess. And we are going to have, um, I have a row of single crochet, which is the first row. I've made my chain and first row quite short for the essence of time for this video. However, if you're making a gauge swatch, you'll want to make your chain much longer in length to be able to get an accurate gauge measurement. So we're going to begin row two with a chain one. This counts as the first stitch, so we're going to skip this first single crochet, and then we're going to work a berry stitch into the next single crochet. So we yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through the first loop on the hook. We're going to yarn over again, insert the hook into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all five loops on the hook, and then we're going to chain one to secure. Now please note, some of my patterns use the chain one to secure when I'm working this stitch, and some do not. Um, there really isn't too much of a difference, although um, the chain one tends to anchor it a bit more. However, it can be more confusing on the subs subsequent row as you'll see. So anyway, we just worked a berry stitch. We're now going to slip into the next stitch. Next, we're going to work another berry stitch in the next stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull a loop through the first loop on the hook only, yarn over, insert into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through all five loops on the hook, chain one to secure, slip in the next stitch, and work a berry stitch in the next, and we continue um, in that manner across the row. 